Hey everyone, so I'm at Stave River, my favorite stomping ground for chum salmon. This video is a compilation of various catches that I had throughout this season. So here I am fishing first light on a beautiful October morning. I'm putting this on fast forward, so enjoy the sunrise and the repetitive casting. It won't be long until I get a bite. So why do I fish here? It is closer to my home, and in my experience, chum salmon are aggressive and will attack the correct setup. So I'm float fishing on a jig with a short leader. And chum salmon, well, aren't the tastiest of fish, so I do this for the experience and practice. It has been two years since I last fished for salmon, so this is a great way to get back into the feel of it. So after a few casts, I was able to get a bite. I am at the north side of the river, so most likely the fish that I catch are at its last stage of life. I don't keep chum salmon that are heavily colored. If it's a female with eggs, then I might consider. I have kept chum salmon that are mostly silver, not this specific location though. And to me, well, it tastes bland, so I had to put a lot of seasoning on it. So here I am trying to land this salmon. So the great thing about chum is that uh, they are aggressive and they will bite even at the last stages of life and they put up a decent fight. And there she is. And I think this one was a female that already laid her eggs. Thank you for the fight and back the river you go. So I don't land every fish and make the sheepish excuse that I purposely let it go because I don't keep them. But most of the time it's because the salmon outfought me and made their escape. So here's another footage of me fighting chum salmon. I believe I lost this one. So what happened here was uh, the chum salmon was fighting and you'll see that once it got really close to shore, it got desperate and yep, and off it went. So yeah, usually when they get off close to shore, they might get spooked and they'll get desperate. Here's a first person footage of another fight and trying to make sure I don't trip and fall on the rocks. So that's why I look back and yeah, I believe I lose this one too. And salmon are amazing because even when they are, have been shored, they try to flop their way back into the river. And fish off. So here's another one. And I believe I landed this one. So I landed this one and yes, I remember this one was the male and it had a nasty gash in the side there. Definitely not keeping this one. Back into the river you go. Good fight. The gash is, I don't know, maybe it's from another fish, from a seal, from fighting the stream. I'm not sure, but they are fighters. Here's another one right here. And I believe I landed this one also. And I think this one was a female that I landed. Yes, this was a female that I landed. And yeah, female with no eggs. So yeah, chum salmon. Speaking about, you know, trying to consume it. It's not, you know, the most tastiest. But I have heard that it tastes good if smoked. I never tried it. Other than that, I've seen a buddy of mine turn it into dog treats, so another idea. Uh, you know, with the whole chum salmon conversation, I think as long as people follow the rules and keep the river sustainable for more fishing in the future, I'm happy. Yep, here's the last fight video that I have. And I'm going to just share a memory I had at Stave River. About six years ago, first light, just me and my buddy waiting for the sun to come up as we sit there prepping our gear. A beaver comes up super close next to me. And since I was sitting, my vantage point to that giant furball was very close. It was still semi-dark, and I guess the beaver realized that I wasn't a rock, so it slowly waddled its way into the river. 
And that was a big memory for me. I have many fishing stories and memories, and I believe that is a big part when it comes to experiencing this sport. So feel free to comment and share your memorable story. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, everyone.